with the VOCA rule just coming out and munis getting treated quite well with respect to trading restrictions, or I should say they will, there will not be trading restrictions, I'm thinking it's going to be a lot better when you consider that Puerto Rico is not going to happen again because what's happened in Puerto Rico is, is happened already. And of course, the Detroit bankruptcy is now behind us. And I think looking more positive, when you think of how cheap munis are relative to treasuries and other taxable investments, and the fact that tax rates went up considerably, I'm actually much more positive and excited about 2014. Really? And 20, yes. So there could actually be gains for some. I, I know a lot of people think rates are going up, but I think muni rates are probably not going to go up as much as treasury rates because they're already so high or cheap relative to treasuries right now. How much are you making shifts in the portfolio? Are you doing much of that? We are shortening duration a little bit. Instead of buying 30-year bonds, we'll buy 20-year bonds. And we are looking very specifically towards credit-oriented uh, bonds. We, we're not going to take as much duration risk, uh, interest rate risk, but we do think there's opportunities out there as the economy slowly gets stronger and state and local governmental entities are doing better with their finances and, and solving some of their underfunded pension problems and, and uh, some of their deficits that uh, are now turning into surpluses like the state of California. So more specifically, are the opportunities in GO bonds? Are they in revenue bonds? A little bit of both? I think it's, it's a cross-section. There's a number of general obligation bonds that had suffered considerably. And, and of course, you can look at uh, Illinois right now. They're seemingly getting their house in order. But you've got places like the city of Chicago still has not dealt with their, their pension issues. And there are some states that are doing better than others. But it really is going to be a very security specific or credit specific sort of year uh, when they say, uh, you know, it's a stock picker's year. Well, I think this is a bond specific picker's year.